has expired. The gentleman from Texas, Mr. Paul, is recognized. For Thank you, Mr. Minutes. Chairman. I understand we're sending aid to uh, Georgia right now, humanitarian aid in a military vessel, military ship. If uh, we're not the provocateurs, why would we use a military ship instead of a uh, non-military ship? What's the purpose of that if it isn't to provoke? We have used military ships to provide assistance after the tsunami in Asia. We've used military planes to provide uh, humanitarian assistance. So it's actually fairly standard procedure, not any kind of provocative act at all. Um, and we didn't regard it as a, a provocation. Um, certainly, it is, uh, it is perfectly normal to have relations with Georgia to deliver humanitarian assistance in a standard way. Uh, it is, after all, the Russians who have crossed an international border to attack Georgia, not okay. uh, uh, the other way around. Let, let me have you pause for a minute, because obviously there's a disagreement on that. Certainly in world press, there's a lot of disagreement on who, who did the invading first, but we'll not settle that here. But I think we should all agree that when you give uh, humanitarian aid, it's essentially military aid, because all funds are fungible. And it just happens that the Georgians in their budget last year spent 70% of their money on, on the military, and they got a lot of assistance from us. So this idea that's humanitarian aid and not military aid, I, I think, distracts from what, what's really going on there. But I was just wondering whether it ever bothers you or concerns you or the question ever crosses your mind about, uh, say, hu humanitarian aid to a country like this. What about, what about the people in this country? We have a lot of poor people not getting medical care and not getting food, and a billion dollars, huh, what the heck? We'll send them another billion. Does it ever cross your mind that maybe that should be helping our people here and this, this is getting us into trouble? This isn't helping us, this is making us less safe. This is part of this empire. You, you might refer to it as our sphere of influence, but everybody knows it's our empire. But does it ever cross your mind that everything that we do over there and every nickel you take, you're taking it away from some poor people in this country that could have been helped? I don't think of it that way, no, sir. <laughs> uh, secondly, as a matter of fact, Georgia did not attack Russia. There is no question about that. <laughs> Russia attacked Georgia. Georgia sent in its forces into a part of Georgia, the breakaway province of South Ossetia. Those are the basic facts. I don't know about Georgia spending 70% of its budget on the military. That doesn't sound quite right to me. Um, and with respect to assistance priorities at home and abroad, Sir, the same could be said for any form of foreign assistance anywhere. The question is, is it, a good, is it in the American interest to support a small country, a struggling democracy that wants to be our friend, that has helped us out in Iraq, uh, that has been attacked by a much larger country? Uh, the strategic stakes here are fairly high. Uh, we, the administration believes it is in our interest to support Georgia, to help, its get on, help it get on its feet, to prevent Russia from uh, drawing a new line in Europe uh, and claiming a sphere of influence. And in the long run, we want to consider our relations with Russia, not in a harsh or knee-jerk way, but carefully and thoughtfully. If, if, if I may, I'm sorry, but I only have a minute. And I understand your point, but let me tell you, there are a lot of people in America that do not see this in our interest. They see it in the interests of some very powerful special interest groups that have an oil pipeline going through there. Matter of fact, most Americans couldn't even find Georgia on a map. And to convince them that this is crucial to spend all this money provoking the Russians, leading us into a non another conflict that we're not even capable of handling militarily now unless we use some very big bombs. But we, our troops are spread around the world. And this has been exactly the plan of some of our enemies to do exactly this and bring us to our knees. And all we do is proceed to continue to spend and spread our troops around, diminishing our ability to take care of our people here at home. And I yield back the balance of my time. Time is yielded back. The gentleman from Massachusetts, Mr. Delahunt, is recognized.